Hi everyone! So today I wanted to show you how I plan and set up my um, <clears throat> next week in the Traveler's Notebook. So this month I have been really struggling with um, finding my planner piece. <laughs> and I started to notice that this is called planner piece because, you know, if you love stationery, and chances are if you're watching this video, you probably love stationery. But as someone who have, you know, planner attic and, and, and who loves um, notebook, it's really difficult to not purchase any new new notebook before you finish the other one, right? So um, just to give you a background, you know, I, I started journaling back in um, early uh, 2005, 2004, and so throughout the years, I collected a number of different type of journal. I went from Moleskine, I went from Traveler's Notebook, there's Hoponichi, uh, you name it, I basically have tried them all, and I have a collection uh, on my bookshelf that just, just hold these uh, notebooks. Um, that I've been using. So I, I keep toggling before be, between Traveler's Notebook, Moleskin, and then now um, I recently found Erin Condren, so I'm in love with Erin Condren. <laughs> so I actually purchased the Dual Life uh, Planner that's coming out, that just came out 2000, uh, for 2021 and 2020. So I purchased one, and then I realized that, you know, a lot of the function that um, I'm using and what I love about journaling, it, it doesn't really quite fit me the lifestyle in the Erin Condren. So I've been toggling between Erin Condren and Traveler's Notebook for a long time. So finally, last week, I decided, you know, I'm going to find my planner piece. So you are my witness. I am on here because I wanted to show you how I'm setting up this week. And I've been using the same Traveler's Notebook since last week. It's been working out and I kind of like it. And I kind of remember why I started to purchase it in the first place. So this is a blue Traveler's Notebook version. As you can see, it's really beat up. I'm, I mean, I, I really carried it everywhere I go and it's really beat up. Um, I love it for the fact that it's very compact, very small, and I usually carry three to four inserts with me. Um, so I need to have a monthly, I need to have a vertical um, hourly schedule, and I want something that is something I can keep my journal uh, when I do bullet, bullet journaling. And then I also have a section that where I keep my drawing. So I love to doodle. Um, so I want that with me the whole time, which is why you can see how Erin Condren is not really um, satisfying that because, you know, I don't have any places to draw. Or, you know, if I draw, it would be very limited space. So this is why I went back to Traveler's Notebook, and here it is, and I've been using it for the whole week, and I love it, so I'm going to stick to it to the rest of the year, and hopefully they're coming out with the 2021 uh, insert shortly, so I can start making new plan. So, we are going to dive right into how I um, set up my weekly, my calendar, and then I'll show you how I do the journaling sections. Yep. So we'll get right to it. So <clears throat> I found these stickers online on Amazon. Um, and I love them because they come in a packet. Like this whole packet are just stickers, sheets and sheets of stickers, and some of them, quite surprisingly, they were done by month. So I can actually just take the whole sheet out for that month and use that. So I, I, that was something that was unexpected, and there's a total of 25 seat, sheets in here that you can, you can go through. Um, so this is the place it came from. Yeah. I love it. Um, once I'm done with this packet, I'm going to probably purchase it again so I can keep having update. So um, one thing about me is that I staff at uh, my hospital job. So those 
positions are usually uh, 12 hour shifts. So I love the fact that, um, so with the Aaron Condren, it starts at uh, six o'clock, so which is really early and it goes from six o'clock all the way to seven o'clock. It fits perfectly for my shift because my shift typically starts at six. Now with the Traveler's Notebook, with the uh, vertical um, hourly, it only starts at seven o'clock, which is the top of the line. So it doesn't really allow me to go further, but that's okay. You know, I'm I'm, I'm basically um, trapped in a in a in indoor anyway. So I use washi tape to block out the day that I have to uh, staff at the hospital so that I don't plan on anything. Um, what I also love about Aaron Condren that is not here on the Traveler's Notebook is on the bottom. Um, Aaron Condren has section and lines where you can list your to-do um, for that particular day. Um, whereas the Traveler's Notebook is just one big section that you can use. Um, and, and I have trouble, if it's not line, I have trouble um, writing things in. So what I've done was I actually created these, um, I found a template online where you can print out these uh, habit trackers. So I print them out on sticker sheets and these are habit trackers that you can, you can use and stick it to your planner if you like. So there's a couple of things that I track throughout the week. So I like to um, put my habit tracker on so I can plan accordingly. So I didn't realize that the, the planner piece is a real thing. And I noticed that, you know, I keep toggling between different notebooks throughout the year. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but you know, it just doesn't feel like every time I need to look for something that's important, I, I have to think about, oh, it might be in this, in this notebook, but I mean, where did I write it down? So rather than going to places, you know, I rather just keep everything in one place where I can easily find things, which is why I really enjoy the bullet journaling because you have that index page where you can go back and see what you've written on which page. Um, the Traveler's Notebook kind of give you that flexibility in terms of um, you can you create inserts that fits what you need. I had trouble with that sticker for some reason. So you're basically um, four things that I keep track. It's meditation, exercise, um, social posting, social media, and then also updating my email distribution. So those are the four things that I track. Um, exercise, I, I've been tracking for the last four years, and it's not so much I can, I, I need to set up reminder for myself, but it's just so that I can visualize it, I can see it, that I checked it off. It, it just gives me a sense of um, accomplishment. So, and my goal is really just to exercise, you know, like maybe three, four days out of the week. So, and then uh, recently I purchased a treadmill for home so that I can um, stay home and exercise and don't have to worry about whether or not gym is open, closed, and when do, we, when do they reopen, that kind of thing. So, yeah. So there's my habit tracker. And so I've already used some stickers on my other planner on the Aaron Condren. So I already ran out of some of the um, prettier one. <laughs> this is what happened when you don't have planner piece, you start losing your resources. And as a life coach, I can tell you that, you know, um, one thing to help yourself to stay focused and stay um, Motivated is actually to ask you the question, ask yourself the question, why? <laughs> why why did I start journaling in the first place? Um, you know, why was this important to me? And what do I want to accomplish? What is my plan for doing this? And what would it what would I get out of this? So once you start asking yourself those questions, then you'll notice that, you know, 
you just stop making excuses for yourself and you just start doing it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my digital calendar, which I still keep <clears throat> a digital calendar and I transcribe them onto my planner version. drop my phone. All right, so we're gonna do the digital. <sighs> okay, Wednesday. Wednesday, <clears throat> I have a eight o'clock.
Mm -hmm. Go back to me. 